let's talk about something actually quite amazing, cruciferous sprouts. Now, the benefits of cruciferous sprouts are not about the vitamins or the minerals, fatty acids, amino acids, or even trace minerals. It's about this thing right here, phytonutrients. And there's quite a few of these chemical compounds that give amazing health benefits. And they're basically just these three-day-old sprouts that you can actually grow yourself in a little container without even soil, without even having sun. And I'm going to talk about the amazing properties that it could potentially give you. There's some human studies that show that these sprouts uh, can decrease H. pylori and gastritis. There's animal studies uh, that majorly demonstrate effectiveness in dealing with cancer. Now, we're talking about broccoli and cauliflower sprouts, which can contain up to 100 times the sulforaphane, which is a phytonutrient, compared to adult plants, adult broccoli and adult cauliflower. That's incredible. In 1997, Professor uh, Talalay demonstrated very high levels of cancer protection with this right here. In fact, he worked with John Hopkins, and I do remember in the late 90s, you would see these broccoli sprouts in the grocery store. And what they initially did, or I think tried to do, is get the patents on the broccoli sprouts. And I think it had to go to the Supreme Court. They did not win. And then one day, all this hype with broccoli sprouts just kind of went away. Of course, if you can't get the patents on it, there's not going to be a lot of money in it. But the fact that John Hopkins was involved in backing up these broccoli sprouts tells me that there's definitely something there because they would not invest the money into this project unless um, there was something there. Certain cruciferous sprouts are highly effective in decreasing the incidence of tumor cells in breast tissue. Also, these sprouts can induce carcinogen detoxifying enzymes, okay? So they're talking about carcinogens. That would be something like this. This is the toxicology, the science of poisons. So in our environment, we have thousands of chemicals and uh, quite a few of them are carcinogens. In this book, it talks about the relationship of how these poisons cause not just cancer, but disease. And thank goodness there's natural things that we can take to dismantle and detoxify those poisonous chemicals. And the vegetables cruciferous, especially some of the sprouts, can induce these enzymes. So then we can take a poisonous fat-soluble chemical and convert it into a harmless water-soluble particle and so your liver can detoxify it. And what's really cool about this whole thing is that this chemical in this plant causes apoptosis selectively. Now, what is apoptosis? It's a condition where the cancer cells commit suicide, okay? And it's selective only to cancer cells. So this chemical will target only cancer cells and not your own. That is just mind-blowing. So the next time you're in the store, go ahead and pick up some of the cruciferous sprouts and put a little bit in your salad. You don't need much because they're so concentrated. All right, thanks for watching. Hey, before you go real quick, I have a course entitled How to Bulletproof Your Immune System. It's a free course. I want you to take it, and here's why. Here's you. Here is your environment. Everyone is focused on this over here, avoiding your environment. But what about here? What about strengthening your immune system? That's what's missing. This course will show you how to bulletproof yourself. And so you can tolerate and resist your environment much better by strengthening your own immune system. I put a link down in the description right down below. Check it out and get signed up today.